I have been using Black Arch Linux for a lot of my tutorials. I thought it would be great to make a video on how to install Black Arch Linux on your system. Black Arch Linux is an Arch Linux based penetration testing distribution for penetration testers and security researchers. The repository contains 2,869 tools. Now let's get started. Click on the Downloads menu here. As you can see, here are different options like Live ISO, the OVA images for hypervisors. You can install it on top of Arch Linux as well. You also have ARM, which allows you to install on embedded devices like Raspberry Pi. For me, I have downloaded the full ISO image. I am assuming you have downloaded the ISO. Now follow my steps for error-free installation of Black Arch Linux. Create a new virtual machine and select the ISO that you have downloaded. I might not explain little details, but pay attention to every steps. I will explain things that are necessary. Choose where you want to install it on your system. Please make sure to provide enough space, minimum of 80 gigs or maybe even more than 80. Just enter and boot into the system for now. You can also choose the desktop environments if you want to. The default credentials for logging in is root as the user and black arch is the password. Now open the terminal and follow my steps. Remember, I will intentionally let those error pop up just to show you how to fix. This video is not about explaining what each command does. But I will tell you that the Pacman is the package manager used in Arch Linux and its derivatives. It is a command line tool for managing software packages. The S flag or option that tells Pacman to synchronize the package databases. It updates the local package list with the latest version available from the repositories. The Y is another flag that instructs Pacman to assume yes as the answer to all confirmation prompts. This way, it automatically confirms any installation or upgrade actions without requiring user intervention. So, when you run pacman-sy, it refreshes the package databases on your system, ensuring that you have the latest information about available packages and their versions. It's a good idea to run this command periodically before performing any package installations or upgrades to ensure that you have the most up-to-date package information. As you can see, the internet is not working. Here you can choose the mode. In our case, we will continue with option 2 because we have downloaded the full ISO offline installer. Remember, we are not dual booting. Hit enter on new and let's create a partition. Our first partition will be our boot partition. And this is where our grub bootloader will be stored. Now we want to make this primary and also make it bootable. Press the down arrow key and select free space again. Now let's create a swap partition. Actually, a lot of people think swap is not really that useful, but whatever it is, I am just showing you the configuration. It's also primary for the type we want to choose that this is a swap partition, which usually lies under 82 option. Finally, the remaining space will be used for storing your files and installing new tools and software.
I don't think on planning to store something important, so I am going with the option, no. Pay attention to this step, because it's important. If you mistype anything, the installation won't work. This can take some time, so wait until it's done. And I will cut the boring part and come back when it's done. Now set your password. I will create a user with the name Black. You can choose yours. It's now been successfully installed. You can now reboot. As you can see, we are now in Grub, and we can specify the advanced options as well. Now just hit Enter on Black Arch Linux. Now log in with your credentials and have fun. I'd appreciate if you liked the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks.